Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar. Today is gonna be a reaction video to the Black Friday of the early 2000s and the Black Friday now. So honestly, I have no energy. I am so tired. I had a full ass day today. I'm so tired and I just got back home and I look a little bit fucked up, but let's ignore that and let's just watch some funny tiktoks okay so it is black friday and there are so many deals online we're actually gonna check those deals out because there is a video here talking about the deals and i want to see if it's legit but before we get into that let's watch some of the videos that showed how black friday was in the early 2000s versus how black friday is right now if you do like this kind of content don't forget to like this video subscribe down below and ding that notification bell to be informed when i upload Upload. Also comment down below what you would like to see next. Okay, let's get into it. Go, go, go! Get out! This is mine. You know where the bathroom is? <gasps> Welcome to the store. Welcome to the store. Hey, back up! Back up, baby! I need back up! 9.59. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock! What? It went up in price. You guys see that? I'll give you a 20% on coupon. Mm. What? Why would I use that? No, I don't want that. Oh. So I definitely feel this guy. This guy's funny. I, I definitely feel him because I remember during Black Friday, there would be lines upon lines upon lines of people waiting outside. People would go and sleep in tents just to make sure they get a spot inside the store for the sale. And honestly, I think it was because the sales were so good. But now, I don't think the sales are that good anymore. I feel like the sales have, I don't know, maybe it's inflation, but it's not as good as it once was. And that's why the frenzy is pretty much over. Yeah, this one is basically just showing you clips of how it was back in 27, oh no, 2007. And back then, there wasn't really any online shopping, was there? Like, I don't think it was very popular, even if there was. Now it's all about the online shopping, and honestly, the deals aren't even that great. There is a video that I'll be showing you that shows it's all, like, marketing. Like, Black Friday sales and normal sales are the same, and I'm excited to show you that video. We're never gonna see a Black Friday like this ever again. There is no one here. This is way different than what we saw just a few years ago. So as y'all probably know, Black Fridays of the past were some of the most wild events ever. People would line up by the hundreds outside of a random target in the middle of nowhere just to get a good deal on Black Friday. Every year during Black Friday, there would be multiple viral videos like this where you would just see tons of people fighting over TVs and electronics. But now in 2023, this is what Black Friday at stores looks like. Virtually nobody lines up for deals anymore. And if you go inside almost any store on Black Friday, it feels like you're just in that store on any other day of the week. Yeah, even in Vancouver, I think, there was a TikToker who was showing how the malls here look and it's just like an ordinary day. In fact, it seems a little bit even like lesser than normal because people are probably at home doing their online shopping and stuff. So it is definitely changed. Also, why go to a store and deal with all that frenzy if you can just like buy it online and then just wait for it to come? You know, I remember when I was in the Philippines and I would ride the train every day to get to work and to go home from work. The lines would be crazy long and we would wait probably 30 minutes just to get a ride. And we would have to push everybody and ourselves into the train just so that we can get a ride. And there was this one time where there was a girl, her hair was so long, she was pushing herself against everybody so that she can get in that she didn't notice the doors were closing in and her hair got like caught in the doors and she couldn't move until the next stop it was kind of funny this is what black friday used to look like but now with e-commerce things are going to be a little bit different a common black friday sales strategy was to get people into the door with the heavily discounted item and then hope that people would overspend and buy more items since they're already in the store i mean that's even the reality now like for example costco you go in and it's all the expensive prices i remember watching a video on this Costco is like the first thing you see in Costco are the more expensive things, the laptops, the computers, the phones, the TVs. And as you go into Costco, you'll see even cheaper things and cheaper things. So it will condition your mind to think that, hey, this is such a good deal. When I hit you like, ah, I better watch out for your job. It'll be the best shot that you saw. Dang, look, 
PS5 is 11% off. The stampede over Sherpa jackets, people seen shoving each other, one sales rep climbing on a table to escape the crowd. In a Georgia Walmart, two women fighting over pots and pans, one refusing to let go. It's funny because I think we see this right now during different kinds of sales. Like, for example, Aritzia sales. Aritzia warehouse sales are crazy. People like sleep over the day before and the lineups are crazy long because these are good sales. They're like 40, 50, 70% off. There's a secret stores won't tell you about their Black Friday sales. Some companies make lower quality versions of their top sellers specifically for Black Friday, kind of like they do with outlet malls. And that knockoff might have lower quality parts and fewer features. And because they're new models, they're mostly untested and unreviewed. To make sure you're you're getting the product you think you are search the model number online if only black friday deals pop up that's a bad sign i have never heard of this before where companies intentionally make lower quality items just to sell them on sale i would categorize that as fraud so i'm not sure if they actually do that i don't know if this is a conspiracy theory or it actually happens that's very unethical definitely but i don't know if this is it illegal i think it's illegal right My question is, how do things not break during these frenzies? Like, you bring a TV and it's huge and like my 5'3 size self can't carry a 60 inch TV. And how do I not like drop it and break it with everybody there? Black Friday is weak as fuck now. Soft as hell. Where are the fights? Where the hell is the chaos in the aisles? Look how clean this is. Why is it clean? on Black Friday. Is everyone okay? Like, wake up. Have some dignity. Stand for something. Where is the ruckus? It's always fun when there's drama involved, right? Everybody has something to say about something and something to fight about. Okay, there's one more video that I found that I want to show you that's very interesting. Okay, what about this one? Black Friday deal? I don't get it. That's a deal. Um, I get this one? Uh, that's the same. Bro, that's not a deal. I don't get it. I'm confused. <laughs> I mean, I'm confused as well, but I'm not surprised. Every single time there's a Black Friday sale, I always wonder, is this really a Black Friday sale? Is this a better sale than when it was on sale? So now we're going to watch this video of some sales that are going on right now. And then we're going to verify this by going on the website to, to see if they're actually on sale as the video says. The 10 Black Friday deals you want to know about. Apple, get a gift card of up to $200 when you buy an eligible product. Okay, Apple, get... A uh, $200 gift card when you buy eligible products. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on Apple and I'm actually gonna check if these deals are legit. Okay, um, it says gift cards come to those who shop, buy an eligible product and get an Apple gift card for up to $280 to use on a later purchase. Now through to December to November 27th. So this is only applicable until November 27th. So what are these things? So if you buy an iPhone 14, which is a thousand bucks, you can get a hundred and five dollar gift card. If you buy a MacBook worth a hundred thousand seven hundred fifty, you can get two hundred eighty dollars a gift card to spend on what exactly? Um, a Mac Mini, which is eight hundred bucks, you get a hundred and forty gift card. Do you think this is a good like? I mean, I don't know. I guess it's good for some people who don't want to, like, spend on the day. But I just wish they just gave me the damn discount for the item I want. That's all I want. Sephora, 50% off. Sephora, 50% off. Black Friday weekend, 50% off. Save big on select faves. Shop now. So let's click that. And... Uh -huh. 
Okay, Sunday Riley Brightening and the Puffing Eye Contour Cream. That's pretty good. That's 50% off. If you wanted the Better Than Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette by Too Faced, that's also on sale. But that's it. There's nothing left. That's... Yeah. So nothing I want. Nothing I really need. Just these things that I guess they're trying to get rid of. I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know. Is this a good roster of things that are on sale? I feel like it's very little things that are on sale. It's not really things that we like. Nike, up to 60% off and an extra 25% off with code Black Friday. So Nike is 60% off with 25% off with a, with a coupon Black Friday. Let's check it out, actually. So the thing is, I can't even find the Black Friday sale button. Like, where is it? I couldn't find the Black Friday button on like the Nike home website. So I just Googled Nike Black Friday sale and it brought me to this page where I can find the sales for women. And I actually really want a pair of Air new Air Force Ones because mine are totally overused and broken. So now let's try adding this to bag. It's only 14% off, which I really, really... Oh, so you can only buy one at a time. Okay, you can only buy one at a time. That's understandable. And now I am gonna... I want to see if this Black Friday like code actually works. So we're gonna go to checkout and we're gonna see if... Oh, perfect. Adidas up to 70% off. Adidas up to 70% off. So let's go to Adidas. Oh, they also have a 50% off code with the code Friday. And... I want to see if that's legit. These shoes seem like they're original price. 130 for Stan Smith. I feel like that's original price. Okay, let's try putting one into cart. And I want to put in the promo code uh, Friday, I think. It was Friday. Friday. Oh, there it is. Apply. Hey! It is 50% off. That's actually a pretty good deal. That is a pretty good deal. I'm gonna go here later and actually snag myself a pair of these because the Nike shop was not really helpful. Um, I like this. Yay, okay. So Adidas is legit. We can go ahead and get our 50% off from Adidas. Abercrombie, 25% off sidewide. Abercrombie and Fitch. I honestly don't buy from Abercrombie and Fitch, but if they have a sidewide sale, That'd be great. So we are in the Abercrombie & Fitch website and it is 25% off everything. That's great. I love that. That makes everything simple. But it is still not as good as the 50% off Adidas one. It's um, Their prices are a little high. Like this textured dad coat, $260, uh, $260 and it's $195 on sale, which is still $200. So... Okay, next one. Paxson, 40% off plus free shipping. Paxson, let's go to Paxson. I also never shop at Paxson, but it's got free shipping and it's, ooh, 50% off site-wide. Everything? Is this for everything? Ooh, whoa. This is a good deal. 50% off everything site-wide plus free shipping. Paxson is good. I like this one. If you need clothes, I think Paxson is great. Really, really good pricing as well. Like um, 70, $71 is now $28. That's so much better. Plus free shipping. I love that. Okay, good, good. Paxson is a good one. Converse, 40% off with code CYBERWEEK. Okay, Converse. I used to have a pair of Converse and it was, they were my favorite shoes ever. They were so comfortable at the time. But now, I don't think I like Converse anymore. They're not as comfortable as I would like them to be anyway, compared to, like, Air Force Ones. Okay, yeah, they are on sale. And I'm, I'm really curious because let's add one to cart and see if I can have that Cyber Week, um, the coupon, Cyber Week. I want to see, okay, promo code Cyber Week see if I can apply that and see if I can get okay that's not the right code maybe I got the wrong code no it's the right code cyber week cyber maybe capital cyber week add code nope so the code isn't working converse is not working 
I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I tried both the gift card code and the discount code and they're both not working. So I don't know what's going on. The North Face, up to 40% off. The North Face. I've never owned any of the North Face um, items, but I always see people wearing it. My eyes are getting red and really, really scratchy. I'm really tired. <sighs> okay. The North Face. I like how when you go to the North Face website, you see shop Black Friday sale button. Okay, so everything, yeah, wow, that's actually a pretty good deal. Um, $4.99 is now $2.99, or $500 is now $300, which is great. I, th I hear good things about the North Face, so let's... And uh, there's no extra code for it, but these are pretty okay deals, I think. It's, it's pretty good. Okay. Aloe Yoga, 30% off sidewide. We're almost at the end. Second to the last is Aloe Yoga. I'm not familiar with alo yoga but black friday 30 percent off site wide let's see if this is legit nice okay direct to the point okay a pair of leggings that was 160 dollars is now either 80 to 110 uh sweatpants which is like 190 is now 135 not a bad deal i think i really want to try good leggings but to me if i don't go to the gym enough to justify buying a new pair of leggings um, yeah, you know, like I need to go to the gym enough to justify buying anything that is gym related. And JBL up to 70% off. Okay, so JBL is the last one that we're going to check out. JBL. I have uh, a few JBL items. I really do like their speakers and their earphones. So let's look at their Black Friday sale. See if they have good deals. Hey, 20% off. They have 50% off on a pair of earbuds. They have 43% off on a pair of speakers. I mean, on speakers, not a pair of speakers. They have pretty good speakers as well. Their headphones, their noise-canceling headphones have, are 50% off. That's not bad. Oh, these are actually pretty good deals. There's a lot of things that are on sale, which is nice. There's a lot of selection. Unlike Sephora, that which the only items on sale were a few items not a few but like a select items and it's not a lot okay there you have it i hope this helped you somehow figure out which sites have the best deals and which kind of don't my least favorite deals were sephora because they didn't really have anything on there like nah. my favorite though is adidas i really like how it's get 50 percent off that's an amazing deal i'm actually gonna go back and buy a pair of shoes right now there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it informative and helpful in any way. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe down below, and ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload. I appreciate your support very much, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!